All right, today we're going to be building something from the website Cuberto. Cuberto? Cuberto? I don't know. I'll have a link to the website itself in the description below so you can have a look. But a lot of designer developers have been trying to recreate bits and pieces from this website for good reason because everything is quite appealing and it's very gsapy and not only this case we're not going to be using gsap it's a very i'd say easy animation i kind of deciphered the, the code with the help of chatgpt so just a little side note use chatgpt in your work to speed up everything to explain your code to create code for you etc and this effect that we are going to be implementing or trying to recreate today not right because it's working it's a button the very famous button that they have on their website which is quite big and it's like a statement button like uh, her mess bag would be for a woman or is that a weird analogy maybe but this is how i see all these effects like expensive accessories that you use to make your outfit more interesting so let's get into it okay in the last two videos we've been leveraging the text editor widget to create our structure for the html and this video is not diff because i think it's quite a flexible option and this is how i like to do it of course you can add your html structure in the html widget but this is the way i do it all right so let's add our text editor in here and I'm just going to set it right in the middle because we want it to be prominent, right? And for good reason. It's a very cool effect. All right. So we're going to be switching from the visual option, I would say, to the text option. And we're going to just delete this and we're going to add our own structure in here. And I'll explain why it's built the way it is. All right, right now we just have a button. This is how you build a button in HTML, right? That's it. So this is a plain, plain, plain way of building a button. Okay, let me just break it down for you. Let's put it this way. So it's a little bit more clear. I want you to understand things like this because it's important to have some knowledge of HTML and CSS and how things are built. All right, so we are using the button tag to build our button. So this is very important. This will also let Google and uh, Google and other search engines to know that what you have on the page is a button and to treat it as a button. Now we have a span in our button tag and this span has the data text of how we work. This is where you would change the text. So for this for the purpose of this video let's change it for with something else just say click me and nothing changes because that is not uh, the actual text that you see on the button and on the page that will that's the text that you will see once you hover over it i will leave it like this for now and i will explain things as we progress this is pretty simple i think it's clear i hope it's clear now in order for this button to lead somewhere you have to give it a link right tell it go to this link and in order to do that you wrap the button in a a tag an a tag and the a tag actually defines a hyperlink uh, which is a link to whatever page you want it to link to and you simply set it here you add the source of your link there so if you have an internal page on your website, you would add it here and that's it. Nothing else. As simple as that. All right. So we could also add a, an attribute and this attribute basically will tell the, will set the link to be opened in another window. And then the button will open the page that you're linking to into a new window. All right. So now let's go to our styling because that's what, um, makes this button look the way it does just one second because it's a lot a lot of css code and let me go in the css go to advanced go to custom css and i'm just gonna drop it in here and yes it's a little bit big but there's a reason for this because i wanted you to see it very well on the page 
And as you can see, as you remember, let's go back to our content. Let's go back to the text. And as you can see, data, the data text, it's, it's, uh, it's called, we named it click me. So this is what you see when you hover on the button. If we do the same thing here, then we have the same text, obviously. So this is how you would change the text as you wish, obviously, as you wish. All right, let's go to the CSS. It is a lot, a lot, a lot, but let's take it step by step and see what you can change and what you should change. And if there's something that you don't understand, just copy paste this text in ChatGPT and ask it to explain every property or the property that you don't understand. And trust me, that is going to help you more than if I would sit here and explain everything. I would bore you, bore you to death uh, because not everybody is interested in what other people are interested in. So I'm just trying to make it so that people don't get bored while I'm teaching this stuff or showing this stuff more or less. All right. So the first thing that we can change here is basically the background transparent. So right away, we can simply change the background of our button. Right now it's transparent and it looks good for me. But let's say if I change it to red, boom, that's it. It's changed to red and it looks pretty damn good. And if we want to change the border or eliminate the border completely, let me just cross it, comment it out. There you go. But if you want to change the colors, let's say we could set it to be white and be much bigger five <laughs> this is huge it's ugly i know but i'm just trying to explain things all right i'm gonna switch it back to black and these values of course you can change i just wanted to make sure that you can see the button very well on the page so let's say 50 pixels and obviously in this case, you would have to change the text size as well. Let's say a hundred, maybe this helps um, to see it better. And then we have the border radius right now. It's comp it's fully circle, but we could just say 20 or 10 and let's say padding top and bottom and left and right. Let's say 70. I know it's quite funny how this looks, but and border radius here, we could say pixels. If we don't make it completely round, then you don't have to use the percentages because as you can see, if you use the percentage, uh, whoops, uh, the corners kind of become weirdly rounded and it's not good. Anyway, I'm going to switch it back to 50. Let me just go back, 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 back. So you know where to change these values. Oops, I will say transparent again. This leave it as it is. Nothing else has to change here. Background black. This is the, the color of the background once you hover it. So let's say red. And that's your red. And leave that as is. Leave this as is. And now this is the font size so the font is very small right now this is where you would play with this font if you the button is smaller you have to adjust it here and leave it like this also the text this is uh, the color of the text let's change it to red this is the color of the text on hover and we could also add another color here the color obviously of the text as you see it on the page and let's say blue so it's blue and red i'm gonna change it to black and let's go down and that's it and basically this button focus once you when you you click on the button and you know that there's sometimes that outline on the edges of the button and it doesn't look very good once that is clicked so that's that i think that's it honestly and let's go back and let's have a look 
this is the button let me just change it back to white let's publish this and let's also see if it actually works so and voila this was the link that i wanted to go to and it worked and it opened the link in another page as you can see i have it here so let's go back to our content go to text and if we remove this from here then our link will open in the same page as you can see we are in the same page let me just go back and it's the same page and if you want to make sure that it's 100 opening in um, the same page internally basically just say target self and that's it so all the code will be in the description below and i hope you liked it if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye